<laughs> hey, what's up, guys? It's the boss here, and uh, today we're just going to be looking at a guide for some good uh, classes that you can use when you're playing. Uh, I'm not using these classes right now because I'm currently on my channel, a series doing Road to Max for every weapon. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to show you guys some good classes that you can make. Uh, so first, lots of people use NV4, so if you don't have any variants, it's okay. It's still a good gun. But what you can do is, I when I was using it, I usually ran quick draw because obviously on lots of classes in this game, you need to be the first firing. And suppressor because you want to stay stealthy off that radar. And also stock, you need to move. Uh, also, maybe you can throw in a sight in this class. I don't know. I'm pretty good with its accuracy since it uh, has a really already really good accuracy rate. So uh, yeah, I'm good with the accuracy. But if you're not that good uh, with it, you can throw on a sight just to help you a little. And uh, for example, there's I recommend using the Lambo A or however you pronounce it, Lambda Lambda O. This is a really good one. Also, straight dot. Lots of them are really good. Uh, also, there's this one, Fulcrum, uh, that is good. Uh, lots of good sights on here that you can use. But now, uh, this, there's also the K-Bar you can use, uh, which is a really good gun. Uh, yet again, if you don't have any uh, variants, it's okay. Still really good gun. Uh, on this, though, I recommend using no... Uh, sight on it but that's my preference like lots of people aren't good with this so they are good with the what's it called uh grip on it and uh they can use a sight then but usually what i use is quick draw suppressor and stock just like the nv4 but usually i would throw on a sight for this but i just love the iron sight on this so much it's hard to choose for me but it's your opinion you can do whatever you want uh I'm going to just do the R3K as well because it's not too good of a gun. But if you do use it, throw on an ELO, quick draw, uh, and stock. If you want to use the suppressor for this weapon, you can. But I don't suggest using it. Uh, it's okay if you do. But yeah, moving on to the ERAD. If you use the ERAD, I suggest you uh, use, then you're uh, going to use quick draw stock and suppressor if you want if you want but i never use suppressor on the erad but yet again if you want then you can uh i never use the sight on the erad so yeah moving on to the ripper evo i don't know why i just did that quick quick draw okay well you got you want to use quick draw on this stock and suppressor if you want Usually I wouldn't use suppressor on it, so then I would use ELO. I know there's already really good sights built into it, but I use the ELO. And moving on, if you want to use a pistol for your secondaries, I suggest if you have good variants. If you have a good variant like the Thunder and you're using it for a secondary on a sniper class, don't put any attachments on it. But if you only have no variants, then put some attachments on it. Uh, so that's what I have to say about that. Uh, now we're gonna move on to my zombies and what zombies and what I use over there. Uh, so we're gonna go to loadout weapon classes. Uh, by the way, uh, you have uh, dark matter on every single uh, thing. So I don't have dark matter yet myself, but what I use is I'll show you what I do for every single gun. I put four, not four grip for every single gun, I just use it for the Volk, but I put quick draw, particle amp, Faraday slug, and stock. They're really good. As you can see, I use them on here. Same with Ram Servo sometimes. I use uh, pretty much, if you just look at all my classes, I use the ELO for everything with uh, this exact same reticle. I use this reticle for every single gun. Uh, the Titan is a really good one, so we're going to use Faraday Slug, Fusion Mag, Particle Amp, lots of them. I also have the uh, Redeemer version of it, so that makes it good. Also, if you have any variants, make sure you put them on if you play Zombies. Uh, I know I've usually been playing more multiplayer on my channel. I tried to do some uh, Zombies videos, but they're just not working out, and I don't like them that much. Uh, today, I unlocked the Intervention, actually. It's a really good gun, so I'm going to level that up. 
uh, the thunder, like I said, candle. The candle, this is important that you level it up in multiplayer so it can be good in zombies because that's your starting weapon. Also, you can't level these up, none of these. Uh, so, yeah, I think, uh, oh, I should do also do feigned fortune cards. If uh, you don't have any fortune cards, you just have fake cards, this is what I suggest you use. Uh, use shop class. Uh, how much? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, you have five choices. You're gonna use shop class for some extra dollars. Uh, mana up. Where is man mana up? You're gonna use. Uh, you're also gonna use blood clot. It. Uh, it depends if you play with uh anyone. Uh, and use med kit. Also, it depends if you play with anyone. And also, if you have any of these unlocked, you can do five second muscle maybe. Not best for last. Uh, this is a brand new one that just uh, came in. I don't suggest using that though. And socialist. This is a really good one. Uh, also, if you do have fortune cards, uh, usually go for the good ones, but not every game. You don't want to waste them. Also, uh, yeah, that's just uh, been my guide for some class setups and everything. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's been the boss. Peace.